Why, hello everybody, it is your least favorite kids YouTube here today, and we're switching it up with some awful Fall Guys gameplay, and I'm going to be switching to, for just this one video, unless this does great. I'm going to be talking about a very controversial person recently on the YouTube sphere, the main show, I think that's how I pronounce it, and so I'm going to just play Fall Guys while I talk about it. And the main thing I want you guys to remember is the plagiarism in his videos. Every commentary YouTuber making videos about him. The false copyright stripe strike on the YouTuber Angwin. And my opinion on what will happen in this. And that's the old I'm going to be talking about. So first let's start off with... The instant plagiarism in his videos. Now, this has definitely been the biggest talking point of criticism for the Mani show. And I agree with that. And the thing was, I watched the Mani show. I will not lie. I used to watch him. And you can just see, he doesn't have a singular good joke. Like, okay. Let me say that statement differently. He has good jokes, but they're not his. Like, he does not make actual content that is worth watching. Like, if you're going to want to watch... Oh, jeez. But if you're going to want to, like, watch somebody, like, maybe he'll have a compilation. Like, it's also, honestly, like, watching a compilation of videos. Because, like, he has barely anything to it. I'd way rather just watch the original person. He doesn't credit. The only thing he semi-does is... not He, he does this sometimes. Which is outrageous that he doesn't do all the time is use like actual person's audio. Sometimes he will act like it is his own audio when he clearly it is not. And it's just outrageous that. And he says he's a comedian. He's not a comedian. He got like, I think 12 million subscribers off taking other people's jokes and adding barely nothing to them. It's outrageous that. That guy is like 23, I think. It's outrageous. That, like, you can't make original content with it. I feel like I'm blabbering on. But let's go to the second thing. All the popular commentary YouTubers popping on, hopping onto this. Even, Fick, I'm hopping onto this. I'm a Fortnite YouTuber. That does YouTube shorts. I don't know why I'm talking about them, but. It first started with Peep is Awesome. And then Dumpy. And I... I don't know who else had done it, but a lot of people did it. Basically, everybody on the commentary sphere of YouTube was absolutely just wrecking him apart. And especially, you want to focus on Anguin. Anguin is the main person in this... Jeez, I am bad. The main person in this controversy, as he first of all... Geez, he started filming videos on... He made a video about people's also i mean jeez <laughs> the mini show and he did nothing different than most of the other youtubers he had shown a small clip of the mini show but everybody has just been hopping onto the hate train on the mini show which i think is finally deserved people are finally deciding to gain brain cells and have some self-recognition on youtube and that's great and and it just seemed like it got popular to hate on the Mani show. Because, well, he's just a very easy target, I could say. Like, awful videos. And I see why. And just everybody hopped onto it. And so many people gained views from it. But the thing is that I don't get is why... He, and then, he, let's go to the third thing, which was... Uh, I got out, but whatever. The false copyright strike that he sent out to Anguin. Now, Anguin is a decently popular commentary YouTube, I think, having 680,000 subscribers. And the Mini Show had decided to falsely copyright him for about 30 seconds of a random video. And the funniest thing is, I, can't, I don't think I could pull this up, but, like, in, what do you have to say? Like, on YouTube, when you have to say copyright strike, you have to say what video it's from. And it was, like, K-pop or something. I don't even remember. It was really stupid. But he had, like, put a hashtag. or was, like, self-promoting his, like, store that shows off all his, like, great stuff. All that random stuff that he would show off. But the main thing was, he, it was about 30 seconds, correct? And the only thing that doesn't concern me 
I mean, concerns me, is will he do other copyright tricks? Because if he, him or his team are going after somebody for about 30 seconds of their video, will Peep is Awesome get a copyright strike as well? Because he definitely showed probably the most content, showed several YouTube shorts, and showed him cringing towards it. So is Peep is Awesome safe? I do not think so. And... That's the problem is you can just completely falsely copyright. I know this happened with Bent Rivera, and we'll see how it plays out, but he will anybody else get a copyright strike. I think that if it is proven false, actually, wait, no, never mind. Screw what I just said. I just remembered. Dumpy had actually gotten a copyright strike, but YouTube had said that this was a false copyright strike, so small and uncommon youtube w but yeah they had said that it was not true but he could copyright strike that so i think peep is awesome is not safe and there will be another copyright strike on somebody like peep is awesome who was a lot smaller than end green but actually started i think he was one of the pioneers all of a starter to the hit on the manny show just became popular because he got a lot of views i think seven hundred thousand actually and it just became, like, popular to hate on the Manny show. And the final thing I think we'll be talking about is, what is the outcome of this? Will anything happen? To the Manny show, his YouTube, his reputation, even if he still has one, will absolutely be tarnished. And anybody that is a sensible child teenager and that is not chronically watching his videos every day that is eight years old will understand not to watch him will he see a mad de decline in views yes actually no it may be somewhat representable in his shorts but on his youtube videos like the ones that actually make you the money on youtube as you get like pay like one to six cents per short thousand views which is actually outrageous i don't know how people make a livable outcome on that i mean uh, but he will have a slightly tarnished, he will have a tarnished reputation, I think. And just everybody, like, kind of how Bet Rivera was with how just nobody likes Bet Rivera anymore. I think he will, will he release an apology if, like, he's proven that he was always in the wrong. He will put out an apology, but most likely he will not put in an actual YouTube apology. He will only do a short form pop. Oh, jeez, I am fumbling with words. You do a short apology, but that is a very low chance. I do not actually think he will do an apology video. Because he will say, with that ultra-inflated ego, I mean, that inflated ego, that he will not apologize. And I think he will go after several more YouTubers. That And if this, and the reason I'm not showing anything, is because I don't want to get copyrighted. Like, I think I already have a, a strike because I was streaming underage. I know, really stupid. I streamed twice. Actually, I think I, I streamed once on accident. I mean, on purpose. And then my brother thought it was funny to stream a second time. So I have a warning on my account. So I would not like to get a... I think like, that would be a second strike for me. I don't know. We'll see. But I think this case will definitely not end soon. The saga will be dragged on. Because, of course, I think all the commentary YouTubers have to feed themselves and their children. So more hate is to arrive. I think this is... The start of a massive wave. Like, when Peep is Awesome posted this video, it was like a little tadpole wave. It was like the little ones that, like, wash up on the shore. Now the big tsunami wave is coming of all this hate. And once it comes crashing down, because it's still, like, gaining and escalating. It's gaining views. And this is definitely not the end of this. It will have a peak of just pure chaos. Uh, I think... Uh, I don't, I think Penguin Zero will respond to it because he is like the YouTube guardian of awful entertainment. But we, it definitely has more to grow in and how we'll have more chaos. Probably another big copyright strike on a big YouTuber. But that's about what I think will happen. We will see in the coming days what actually happens, but a lot more is to happen. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And even if you enjoyed, uh, like and comment because I actually got inspired by Westjet and Peep and Dumpy to like make content like this because I think it was enjoyable. But if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, or just like or watch the video. But peace, guys. That is shocky for you. Have a 
wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.